So here we are at Felt's Bagels. I'm Lucy Sparrow. Everything is handmade and it's painted by me and my team. Everything's for sale here at Scope Art Show, so it's where you can get a full consumer experience and yet experience the art at the same time. Tell me about this year's booth. It's bagels? This year's booth is Felt's Bagels and it's heavily inspired by the Lower East Side area of Manhattan where you get a lot of Jewish jellies, bagel shop, appetizing establishments and it's heavily inspired by that and I wanted to make that out of felt. Tell me how you got into making felt pieces. So I've been sewing since I was about five years old and then when I got to 28 I had a really successful first solo show that ended up selling out and that was my big break to, to get into art full time and that was 10 years ago. What number of art basils is this for you? I have been to art basil, I think this is year number seven, so I'm, I'm quite a veteran now. Tell me why you sort of do your own little pop-ups like this instead of working with a gallery. Because the work is so intensive that, you know, I, it's, I don't think it's good to give away 50% of what you earn, um, so I'd rather be in control of that. Take on the risk and then get the reward later on. How many of these pop-ups do you tend to do a year? Um, it can be anything from one if it's a very big one, and then three if it's a very busy year, but I can't do many of those busy years because it's very intense. Tell me about your team a bit. So I have three assistants, they all form Team Felt. We have matching tattoos. Oh, so cool. <laughs> and we all work in an old ambulance station in England. And that's sort of like, every day you're making this stuff. Monday to Friday, yeah. We make stuff all the time, uh, and we're always working towards different shows, and there's a lot of shows going on at the same time, so we're always very busy. Do you typically sort of make the key model, and then it becomes almost like a factory? Exactly, yeah, so I'll make the first one, and then all the, all the duplicates go from there, and then they come back to me, and they get hand-painted, and then signed. I love the ones with the faces. I think that might be my favorite part. What made you decide to do the faces? I think usually in art, you should you're encouraged to like veer away from things being cute. So I wanted to go against that and I'm like, yeah, I want all the cuteness. I want it. I want adults to feel like children again. Uh, one of my favorite things you did in the last few years is a custom car. Tell me about the car and how long that took and what the process was like. So I own a Land Rover Defender and I've had it about six years now and I'm gradually turning it into like a Harlequin Defender and the inside's all inspired by McDonald's. Outside panels are all different colors. I think there's like 12 different colors on it and eventually one day it will be finished.